Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel! So, here we go again with another painting tutorial. And guess what? I chose another goldfish! Hey, hey. I've done a few goldfish paintings in the past and I will link them down below in the description box and somewhere um, up here. <laughs> <laughs> so you can you can find them easily so i decided again to choose another cute goldfish because as you already know guys i love goldfishes and i love painting them <laughs> i love watching them and i love painting them so yes and let me tell you now the colors that i'll be using for today's painting tutorial so we have first um wait where's my brush okay. pencil we have red, permanent yellow, deep or transparent yellow, cadmium yellow, orange, black, um, what's this? <laughs> Thalo blue and titanium white. So let's begin now, guys. As you can tell already, I've already, I've a, a what? <laughs> guys, I'm so sorry because, you know, I'm having a hard time speaking really because I already have my braces on, but yeah. Yeah, just to let you know guys so that you understand me um <laughs> you understand me uh you understand the reason behind this behind this um weird speaking thing so i've already sketched the subject for today's um uh goldfish painting so if you want to uh trace this one you can do so but i only free-handedly draw uh i only free-handedly drew this one so if you want to trace this it's no problem but again guys i would like to recommend that you practice freehand drawing than tracing i mean more than or more frequently than tracing so that you know you learn and you be more confident doing it every time so let's begin now guys i'm gonna underpaint first my fish so in underpainting it all right I'm gonna use first my orange and then red like this tiny bit of black just to tone down the colors I'm gonna underpaint my goldfish now we'll be doing some background colors later but I want to do first my subject By the way guys, for those who want to know, I'm using cold pressed paper or canvas paper for this painting. All right, while the paint is still dry, I'm gonna get my orange and my cad yellow. And I'm just gonna go and mix the colors. The canvas paper that I'm using is quite absorb absorbent, so um, I'll be using a lot of water if I want to blend later. So I'm gonna run that orange up to here and to the fin area, dark red here. and also down here all right okay so i'm gonna wet my brush and we'll still be using the same color to so get your red your orange tiny bit of black this tiny bit again just to tone it down maybe to bring some dark um values and i'm gonna use that here maybe this one is too dark but again i don't mind because i'll be painting over it later here as well as you can see i'm not really making strict lines because this is a fish so it doesn't have really strict lines or rigid lines let me check okay wait i don't know if 
it appears too dark to you guys, but it doesn't to me. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of yellow. And I'm gonna brush this the same color down here. I will be alternately using red and orange and yellow. The way to attack this painting is for you to first identify the similar colors that you see. All right, let's say there's an orange here, there's an orange there, so that you finish quite um, fast. You don't have to go back to the same color because you already used that early, early on. So here, I'm just using my fingers just to blend. Okay, this is a combination of yellow and orange and water. That's why it's quite light visually. And then I'm gonna use my fingers just to blend to spread the colors quite evenly. All right, like that. Here as well. All right, like that. Okay. All right, I think that's it. I think I got a lot of colors today. All right, now we're gonna wash our brush out. Wash it well. Make sure it doesn't have orange anymore, especially orange, because we're gonna do some pinky color. Get your red. Get your white, like this pink, right? And I'm gonna dry brush down near the mouth of the fish. I'm gonna use water. like that I really want that irregular pattern forming when I do this kind of technique all right like that maybe down here as well I really like that watercolor -y thing that's going on when I'm doing this technique so I'm also applying some pinky color up here you may or may not do that I'm just you know trying to make the picture more coherent all right again get your pinky color red and then white maybe add some more red it's quite light you can use a smaller brush for this one but we'll be using this color here so I'm just going to highlight the head of the fish. like that all right that's for now just for us to identify the patterns in the fish's body now wash your brush out i'm gonna get my thalo blue plus white all right again thalo again tiny bit of black tiny bit of black to make it more dull and I'm maybe add a little more black all right like this color is like grayish blue and I'm gonna water it down and apply it here 
the bottom portion of the fish's body. Now, if you go outside the line, it's all right because we will be doing some background colors later. So for the fin, I'm just doing this brush strokes because uh, it's safe to assume that the fish is underwater. So I'm going to get more thalo this time. More thalo. And I'm going to make some applications up here. So here, also down here, same blue color. If you notice how I do the, the tail and the fin, I am following the natural pattern of fish tail and fins. Alright, like that. Now wash your brush out. Alright. Now I, I'm going to use my smaller brush for this one. Okay, I'm going to get my white. I'm going to get my black to make some gray color. Right, maybe more white like this gray. And I'm just going to color the body of the fish. I mean the rest of the body of the fish. With that color. We're basically underpainting it. Um... It's um, 4.15 in the afternoon right now. So, I don't know guys. Uh, let me know in the, comments that, in the comments below what time you're watching this um, video. If you like. If you want me to know the time where you are. At the time of watching. I'm also um, curious in knowing all right okay so I'm gonna use the same color color gray but this time I'm gonna add tiny bit of red to make it more pinkish but not too much just a suggestion of pinkish color and I will be using my fingers as usual um to blend and in applying my colors all right like that same here okay all right wash your brush out Okay, again, I'm going to use some light blue color. I'm going to get my white and my blue. I'm going to use that down here. And also here. Oops, I'm going to add more blue. Like that. And 
in here. I'm gonna add more white to the light blue. And again, just follow the shape or the pattern of your fish's tail. And here, you can now paint over the underpainting. And for the fin, I'm just going to make something like this. Okay. I'm going to get some more white. Alright, now I'm going to mix this color with my cad yellow, so it's like light mm, yellow. I'm just going to add some detailing up here for the scales, but again, I'm basically underpainting the scales. This is not yet the color, but we're trying to get that pattern by dabbing on some light yellow here and there to suggest some sparkles make some lines like that all right now i'm gonna mix my yellow with my white And I'm gonna try to okay, add more white. Lighten the back of the fish. Okay, more white this area. Alright, so okay, in here. Okay, wash your brush out. Let's go back to light blue. And we're just gonna finish the body of our fish because I haven't finished it. Before we go to the background, here, some light blue for some light. We will be able to appreciate this later when we do the background because that will give some contrast and make some light play. All right, so wash your brush out now. And while we're waiting, oh no, 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 let's do the eye since it's inside. It will not really distract. Oh, it will not really prevent us from doing the background. So we might as well do the eye. I'm just gonna use my black paint. And just like that. All right, that's the eye. Now I'm gonna wash my brush, um, but not necessarily super clean i'm just gonna add my white to create some gray color so this gray and i'm gonna go around the eye Okay, now I'm gonna go I'm gonna go back to my black. Oh, 
and while the gray is still wet I'm just gonna blend in some black in there All right, wash up a shout now. I'm gonna make some red or get some red with a tiny bit of orange. And I'm gonna continue that red pattern down the eye. On here as well. Corners of the eye. All right, like that going to use my permanent yellow or permanent yellow or your transparent yellow and I'm going to paint I'm going to make those or some areas like a little more shiny or light If you don't have your transparent yellow, you can simply use your cad yellow plus a lot of white. You know, um, just make use of what you have. Then some yellow. All right, I'm using cad yellow. I'm using a lot of water this time, just for light. Okay. here all right wash your brush out okay now I'm gonna get my pure white so just get your titanium white and I'm gonna apply that up here to highlight the shiny part of the eye and around that um, black part of the eye. Like that. Okay, I'm gonna highlight some areas. you can see I'm using my my fingers a lot when it comes to um, blending especially when I'm doing fishes all right for now I'm gonna let that completely dry although I have a dryer here with me but let's do the background so that it pops out pops out yeah it pops out already <laughs> pops up pops out <laughs> I don't know <laughs> I'm gonna get my um pale of blue <laughs> I'm gonna add a tiny bit of black oh that's a lot of black I'm gonna add more blue tiny bit of white that's the color all right and I'm gonna test it all right that's perfect maybe you can add more black just to darken that maybe I'm gonna add more black just to darken it Just be careful when you're doing the small um, indents, right? Again, just phthalo plus black, phthalo blue. Add a tiny bit of white. And then start do the background. Start doing the background. <laughs> what? I can't speak, guys. <laughs> OK, 
can add water just to, you know, play with the colors more. Now I'm gonna go down. So again, phthalo blue plus black. And this time I'm gonna go with more white because the bottom portion should be a little lighter than the upper portion. Again, you could have done the background first, but I'm pretty sure that knowing me, I'm going to do first the subject. Especially uh, for this type of subject that occupies more space than the background. Okay, here. also quite therapeutic you know when you do the background I don't know because you really don't have to worry about details it's just the background although sometimes backgrounds are important in giving light so I'm using some dark blue here And then for those areas where we actually um, went over the line, we can fix that later. All right. Here. Okay. Go inside. We will be fixing that later. Okay. Now it's time to fix it. Get sure titanium white, pure titanium white, and just go and highlight the areas that I will be highlighting if you're painting along with me. So I'll be highlighting the fin. And again, I'm following the pattern of uh, real fish. So when I do my brush strokes, I'm, I'm not just covering it with paints. I'm also trying to follow the pattern so that my brush strokes create some sort of lifelike image. I hope that makes sense, guy. So again, I'm just using my titanium white and basically highlighting it. Here. Maybe I'm gonna go light blue. I just added a tiny bit of light of blue to this area. Mm -hmm. 
Now, don't panic if you're not seeing my palette because it's just right beside me. Uh, if I say light blue, just do light blue. It's not very, it's not really a complicated thing to to mix. Just add light, just add blue, and then you know this. This is also a practice for you to learn how to mix your colors. All right. I'm going to add more blue to my existing light blue. Okay, maybe add more. Okay, I'm going to add more. Sometimes. Okay, like that. And I'm just going to make some circular patterns. Down at the belly of the fish. Don't make strict lines here. Anything like super circle or super square, don't do that. So I'm going to darken my light blue. <laughs> That's weird. I'm going to add my, my black. <laughs> darken my light blue. Alright, so I'm just going to use my fingers again. Just, I added some black to it, like this color. So I just added some black, like that. All right, and I'll be using again blue and more black this time. Okay, more blue. And we're gonna define more the fin up here. So just do as I do. I hope that uh, you learned something from this. Okay, like that. Like that. Like that. Okay. Also down here. I'm gonna use the same color dark blue oh that's super dark I'm gonna right. I'm gonna lighten it a bit Get your dark blue, and let's just define the fish even better. Go around the shape of your fish using some dark blue so that we separate the fish from the water. So if you do not, or if I have to explain it, I'm going to get my phthalo blue plus black. And I'm just going to go around the fish. Apply it quite thinly. Don't do a cartoonish style of outlining your fish. You don't want that. And try to blend so that you don't create super hard lines. Okay. All right, like that. Oops, sorry. All 
right, like that. Okay, wash up our shop now. Let's go back to our titanium white. And it doesn't matter if there are some blues mixing with your white because, again, coherence. We're talking about, um, we would like to achieve some coherence. Go back to the thing. Here. Just add white like that. highlight the fin very thinly though all right wash your brush out get your pink so red, some white, tiny bit of pink down here, but don't, I mean, do it randomly. Don't make some uh, specific patterns. I'm not really making any specific patterns. Okay, get your red. Water down your red and apply it at the bottom of the mouth. And use your fingers if you are willing to do so in applying some or in blending. All right. Okay, now we're going to use some watercolor effects. I'm going to use my red plus a lot of water a lot of water guys and you can use also orange and again water like really watery i don't know if you can tell how watery my paint my paint is but i'm gonna use that uh, i'm gonna use that up here so i'm just like dropping dropping some watered down colors using my fingers to tap or to dab on the paint I'm gonna darken it. I'm gonna use more red this time down here. Don't be scared to use that uh, finger. <laughs> it's all right, it's just paint. Unless you're using oil, I think oil is more um, toxic. I don't know if it is really toxic. I'm using my fingers, even if it's oil. Again, here. So, all right, like that. Now wash your brush out. This time, I'm going to water down my yellow. Cad yellow, you can add permanent yellow deep. And water down, guys. Apply it here. And also here. Just use some dabbing um, motion in doing this technique. Alright. 
Okay, wash your brush out. Get some red. You can add some black to make it quite dark. Let's fix this one. Right. And just outline the fan. Darken. Oops. All right, wash your brush out. I'm gonna get my um, I'm thinking if all right I'm gonna get some light blue some phthalo blue and then some white light blue like this and I'm just gonna go here Maybe add more white to make it more light. Add some more light blue. Here. As well. And here as well. On the tail portion. Okay, like that. Right. I'm gonna get my dark red again, so red plus a mixture of black. Right now, I'm gonna get my yellow, yellow plus the red that is existing already in my paintbrush. Like 
gonna dab on some tiny bit of yellow just to suggest some scales okay get your cat yellow down here all right wash your brush out Get your cat yellow plus white. Here. I'm just going to dab that color. Okay. Wash your brush out. I'm going to fix some areas that need to be um, covered. I'm going to get my phthalo blue plus black and plus white because it's not super covered. Here, look at that. There are some... Uh, the texture of the canvas paper is still showing. So here okay. and like that. Okay. Wash your brush out again. Now I think I have to fix the the eye. I'm going to get my black. I think I have to fix the eye. It's quite weird. There you go. All right. There you go. Now I'm going to get a smaller brush. I'm gonna get, or not, not smaller, but a more pointy brush. I'm gonna get my titanium white, and I'm gonna go around that space between those blacks. And dab on some white here and there. Oops. I'm gonna get some tiny bit of yellow orange. Wash up a shop. Now I'm gonna glaze this area some dark colors. So I'm gonna get my black but super watered down and I'm gonna go over and swipe that color down here All right, like that and then I'm gonna use my towel and wipe it wipe it off but actually I'm darkening it in effect you know I, I hope I'm making sense guys so I'm darkening it because of the absence of light. And here I'm gonna go under the fin. still watered down black it's like just glazing it with that color okay here 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 as well so don't be scared to use your black here
I'm gonna get more some pink so get your red plus white like pink color Okay, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> give me a number guys, <coughs> oh my god, I just choked, oh, oh my god, I don't know, write in the comments <laughs> section below the number that you can give for me, and then I'll count. I'm gonna use some dark red. Sorry guys. <laughs> All right, and then pink. Okay, so I'm gonna darken. I'm gonna cut the fin. So I'm gonna get my blue plus black, tiny bit of white. like this color all right blue gray I'm gonna I have to cut this one and make the back portion quite dark it's like the back fins I have to get more white because I already ran out of it. Mm. I'm gonna get my pure white. And I'm going to define or redefine again this fin. And I have to highlight the face of my fish. Alright, like that. Okay. 
Okay, wash your brush out now. Okay, now I have to get my black. We're almost done, guys. I really just took my time doing this one because goldfishes are my favorite. And yeah, I just want to spend more time for this tutorial. And then wash your brush out now. I'm gonna get some dark colors, dark red. So I'm gonna get my red plus black. And I'm just gonna have to go over the back fin. Is it the back fin? The back. <laughs> like that just glazing it I'm, I'm really having fun guys doing this yes let me check oh my god this is so good <laughs> I did not expect this guys I was just relaxing and trying to think about life <laughs> i'm gonna get my phthalo blue and add white i like it hmm? i really like it all right like that all right i'm gonna get again my blue plus black Wash your brush out. Now I'm going to go get my red plus black. Because even if we don't see it, it's there. Like there, are, there is some back fin that it's not, you can't, you may or may not do that. But I really want to be like, I know that it's there. All right. Just a suggestion that it has something at the back. Gonna just leave it without this one. All right, like that. Okay, again, I'm just gonna darken this portion, separating the body from the fin. Wash your brush out again. Wash your brush out. Okay, some light blue. Okay, I'm just gonna glaze it. I was saying just light blue. Like 
like that. Okay. This is good. This is really, really good. So I think I have to sign it now, guys. I have to sign this. But wait. I have to make sure that we're actually done. All right. Okay, I have to sign it now. I think I have to sign it here because, yeah. Where else should I sign? There's no more space. I'm gonna sign it here even if it's looking weird. Okay. We're finished. We're finished, guys. We're done. Oh my gosh, this is a nice fish. This is a nice goldfish. Yay! We're done, guys. So I hope you enjoy this one. I hope you enjoy this one. Uh, did I say that? <laughs> I hope. <laughs> I hope you enjoy this one. I hope you do this one as well. Thanks for watching, guys. And advance happy Valentine's Day, guys. <laughs> But, of course, I might do uh, another tutorial for Valentine's Day. Who knows, right? But wait, guys. As you know me, after saying my goodbyes, I'm going to go get my orange. <laughs> and I have to go back. Because you know me, guys. You know me. I'm not going to stop. Because sometimes I see that uh, when I'm looking at the camera. Let me check. All right, this is done. <laughs> really? Yeah, I think. Yes. Okay, so see you in my next video, guys. See you in my next video. And let me, let me, what? <laughs> Please let me know if you also did this painting or you painted along with me and post it on my facebook send me a message so that i can see it and don't forget to subscribe and like this video guys share it with your friends so that they may learn from me as well thanks for watching